Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl and go back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, and keep supporting us. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. I will <coughs> appreciate each and everything you suggest, and I'll be more than glad to react to it. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we actually put out. So today, I'm actually going to be reacting to where did God come from. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Usually when people think about creation, they reach to a point where they think about the Creator. And step forward, they ask themselves, who created the Creator? Because Satan is always trying to make their mind busy with this kind of questions. It is narrated by Anas ibn Malik. Rasulullah said, People will not stop asking questions till they say, This is Allah, the Creator of everything. Then who created Allah? A tricky question by Satan, which brings lots of people in doubt. So there's a God. Then you have to say, but sorry, where did God come from? It's not a question I hear often answer. In another narration, Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu reports that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Satan will come to one of you and say, who has created the heavens? In answer, he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he asks, Who has created the earth? And again, he answers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then he asks, Who has created Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If any one of you comes to such kind of thinking, should say, I believe in Allah and his messenger. It doesn't mean that Islam has no answer for it. It means a person shouldn't think in such manner that there is a creator for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, Islam has answer for every kind of question. Therefore, when a person asks such a question from you, don't stop him because everyone has the right to know about Islam. So when he asks who is the creator of the creator, then another question rises. Who is the creator of the creator of the creator? And then another question, who is the creator of the creator of the creator of the creator? The sequence continues unlimited. This is an elementary point in the philosophy of science. Suppose astronauts were to find on the backside of the moon a pile of machinery there that had not been left by American or Russian cosmonauts uh, what would be the best explanation for that machinery? Well, clearly it would be some sort of extraterrestrial intelligence that had left the machinery there. And you don't have to have an explanation of who these extraterrestrials were or came from or how they got there or anything of that sort in order to recognize that the best explanation of this machinery is intelligent design. In order to recognize an explanation as the best, you don't have to have an explanation of the explanation. In fact, when you think about it, requiring that would immediately lead to an infinite regress of explanations. You would need an explanation of the explanation, but in order to recognize that as best, you need an explanation of the explanation of the explanation, and then an explanation of the explanation of the explanation of the explanation, and so that nothing could ever be explained. If we say what caused the cause that caused the universe, then let's continue. What caused the cause that caused the cause that caused the universe? Let's continue. Then what caused the cause that caused the cause that caused the cause that caused the universe? Let's carry on. Then what caused the cause that caused the cause that caused the cause that caused the cause? And that goes on and on and on backwards. But at one point, I have I have to have an uncaused cause 
or there would be nothing in existence today. Think of uh, a string of dominoes. You have a domino that knocks over a domino that knocks over a domino. I have to have a first domino or that string of falling could never start. So when it is unlimited, it means that there is no end and a rational mind cannot accept that there is no end. Or in other words, if God has a creator, then he is not God. Indeed, his creator is the real God. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah Al-Ikhlaq. Therefore, there should be an ultimate creator who is wise and eternal, that by his supernatural power caused the universe to come in existence, and he is no one except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A very interesting video um, how do people out there want to answer this question because it is a tough question to answer but then this it's like it's specifically asked to a Muslim and the response is you believe in Allah that's it you believe in Muhammad that's it is that good enough of an answer logically speaking or thinking i don't think anyone will be as uh, satisfied with that answer reason being it's not answering anything it now it's kind of changing the topic like i'm asking you who created god but you're telling me about your belief in god if god said whether in the quran in the hadiths or whatever the case is has said this is how you respond saying I believe in God, why didn't God tell us or give us a more satisfying answer to this question of who created God? It would be very, very interesting to actually come across a video or someone who actually answers this question. I think I reacted to something containing a similar uh, question, either by the King Naik or Ami did that and they did agree they should have been oh no he was actually it was Dr. Zaki Naik he was answering an atheist saying they should have been something that existed before the Big Bang or before life ever started that created everything you know and I loved that video and the way it was answered but then was still left with this question Yes, I also do understand that once you answer that God was created by this entity, you're still going to ask who created that entity and the question will go on, on and on. I wish science or religion actually had an answer to this because just how, how is God created? Then in turn God creates us or the universe. And there's a lot of amazing things in the universe that people are still discovering and there's just so much to learn. Otherwise, don't overlook the fact that God actually exists. If you believe, stick to those beliefs. If you don't, you don't have to. But for those believers, don't overlook that God does actually exist. And what you do or how you try to figure out how to answer this question is all up to you because there's no specific answer that anyone can give. Or you can say what this guy said in this video. Let me know what you guys actually think. Um there's anything you guys would love me to react to let me know down below or go to our facebook or instagram and suggest something there i'll be more than glad to react to it or will be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video